changing your sexual position all the time of day when you have sex or doing a three day long puja would any of these things influence whether you have a boy or girl about 10% of the couple who come to me for fertility counseling have the question in their mind is it possible to determine the sex of the baby before they conceive and rightfully so because i think at the end of the day it has to be their choice whether they want to have a boy or girl but unfortunately in india it is banned to determine the sex of the baby before the child is born Let's cut down to the basics. The only factor that is going to determine whether you're going to have a boy or girl is the sperm. If the sperm that fertilizes the egg has the Y chromosome, then you're going to end up with a boy. And if the sperm with the X chromosome fertilizes the egg, then you're going to have a girl baby. So let's dig in a little more deep. The Y chromosome is much smaller than the X chromosome which led many people to believe that the sperm which is going to make a boy baby might be much smaller and faster than the sperm which might make a girl baby. But is that true? Unfortunately or fortunately it isn't because a study in 2020 has shown that the X or the Y bearing chromosome pretty much are both the same and they do not have any difference in terms of either size or the speed of the sperm. Or what about the time of having sex? Does that influence whether you're going to have a boy or girl? And again, unfortunately, no, because a study in 1995 has shown that the time of having sex, and they've done this for around 200 couples, have no influence on the sex of the baby. And there was another theory which said that changing your sex position might release the sperm closer to the uterus, which again might determine whether you're going to have a boy or girl. This isn't the case as well because we do IUIs on pretty much a very regular basis and if this theory is true, every patient who has a successful pregnancy from an IUI should have a boy baby. IUI is a process in which the sperm are washed and then made into a tiny pellet and inserted directly into the uterus where it is as close to the endometrium as possible. And data shows that 50% of the babies born from IUI are boy babies and 50% are girls. And there was another study which was done for around 6,000 couples who are undergoing IVF or IUI treatment and they have got the same results that 50% of the babies are boys and 50% of the babies are again girls. The only, the only possible way of how you could determine whether you could have a boy or girl is trying to improve the amount of nutrition you have during your pregnancy. And there are certain animal studies which say that having more amount of calories during the time of your pregnancy might make it possible for you to have a boy baby. This could probably mean that boy babies might require more energy to grow than girl babies. Eating breakfast cereal might improve your chance of having a boy baby to almost up to 85%. Then again, I don't think this is true at all. You could definitely try it out and let me know in the comments down below if that worked for you. So this doesn't mean that you should eat so much calories that you become obese because studies have also shown that the woman being overweight or underweight did not dictate the sex of the baby. So the only, the only way of how we are going to determine the sex of the baby is by doing a pre-implantation genetic testing after you undergo IVF or ICSI. I have previously made a video on pre-implantation genetic testing and if you have not checked it out, do click the link that pops out here. This is a form of genetic testing to know if the embryo is carrying some kind of genetic abnormalities and the same process is also useful to determine whether you have a boy or girl. So hold your horses, don't go to your local gynecologist and ask them if they can do a PGT to your embryos. It is banned in India. You will not be able to determine the sex of the baby by PGT. If you really want to do something of that sort, you might have to go abroad to get this process done. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed enjoyed this video and for more such content go ahead subscribe to my channel and if you're not following me on instagram go ahead and do that right now until the next one guys see you and have a great day thank you